This is basically where we catch the cars to control them and to control their legality. Welcome to the backstage. Hello everyone and welcome to FIA Insider. My name is Paul Wallace from the YouTube channel Supercars of London and I'm a huge motorsport fan. Join me this year at a variety of paddocks, pit lanes and racetracks as we get to immerse ourselves in the world of motorsport and mobility governed by the FIA. This is definitely a corridor and a room here that we are not usually allowed to bring cameras in, so follow me. Let's see what they've got here. Hello, Fabrice. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Welcome to the backstage. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, this is our control room, let's yeah. say, from, uh, from a race event. Wow, there's a lot of screens. <laughs> a lot of screens, yeah, a, a lot, lot of, of people. people. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and all this to, to monitor, basically, our, our cars. Yeah. Uh, and this is the major uh, control room for telemetry. So, uh, we are monitoring the cars live uh, wow. while they're on track, uh, listening to all of them. And so all these guys uh, have different uh, uh, things to look at. I can see a lot of screens. I can see the, the circuit. You, do you, you don't have a, a live stream of the actual cars going. We don't watch the cars go around. You just watch the data. Uh, they watch mostly the data, <laughs> yeah. yes. And uh, they follow some dots and some lines uh, yeah. on, the, on the screen. But we're also uh, watching the, the, the live uh, the live show yeah what's the difference between the guys that are on laptops versus the permanent screens that are up there so permanent screens uh these are really dedicated uh, to the uh, to the full uh, telemetry uh while uh, laptops they are more on data analysis okay. uh, post processing from uh, from uh, from data okay and so there's no team representatives in here this is all the fia this is officials. Everything. Yeah. Uh, no access to the teams. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on that side, uh, you have what we call the technical delegates. So that's our job to receive uh, the, the teams in case they have any question or we call them for any uh, argument. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's not what I was expecting to go behind the scenes and see this. Yeah. It's uh, totally different and unique. And I know that you don't usually allow cameras in here. So this is. Uh, that's it's super interesting to see what goes on behind the scenes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's our that's our basically our scrutiny uh, garage. This is where we we get all the cars uh, to control them through through the weekend. So you can see we have bridges with a flat patch. Yeah. Uh, scales so, uh, to to measure and to control the legality from the cars. So talk to me about telemetry. This is why I want to learn more and uh, you are the man to talk to. Yeah. Well, you have seen we were in the office uh, behind the screens and so uh, you saw screens with a lot of data, scores and, uh, and so on. So basically telemetry, uh, while the car are running on track, uh, we are measuring uh, a lot of data and these data are sent to us live uh, to, to monitor them. Okay, so how many sensors are on a car and what are the most important ones? Uh, we have hundreds of sensors. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, yeah, it's a lot uh, indeed. Uh, we have uh, major ones uh, that we are using to, to monitor them. Uh, for example, we are monitoring the, the power from these cars uh, via torque sensors. Uh, that's an important one. Yeah. Uh, we are monitoring tire pressure, for example, as well, uh, with the famous uh, TPMS, yeah. uh, tire pressure <laughs> monitoring system. We, we like to have some, some dodgy names uh, on it. <laughs> uh, we have also some uh, fuel uh, consumption uh, monitoring. So all these to control uh, that the cars, when they are running on track, they are still legal. Okay, that information, that data, is that then sent to the teams? Do they have access to everything? How does it work? Yeah, so we send what we collect, we send them uh, also live, uh, so they can have that information available for them. It's all real time. Wow. So your office is obviously full of electronics, computers, screens. What happens if there's a power cut? Uh, basically, we have, of course, some uh, battery pack to save us uh, in, for instant uh, power cuts that we can uh, keep on going. Okay. And during the long races, you've obviously got a lot of information coming up on the screen. Some races are 24 hours. Do you have like a notification? Is there anything that can flag up if they go outside the parameters? Yeah, absolutely. But of course, we have the people monitoring uh, permanently the, the screens, but we have uh, several software running in the background. And of course, if something is going out of the, the limits, there is alarms uh, which are triggering and of course, warning the people. 
and that gets into the teams and of course do they get penalized if they go outside but if they go outside depending uh what is the if they are illegal then yeah. it's reported to the stewards okay. because that's the way we we work here and yeah. then the stewards uh, decide the penalty yes i was out here for the formula one a few months ago when the formula one drivers experienced extreme heat and i've heard that with the telemetry there's something that you can do to look after the conditions for the pilots uh, yes, we are monitoring basically the cockpit temperature. So it's uh, in this case, uh, in our car, we have closed cockpits. Yeah. Uh, we are monitoring that temperature, which has uh, upper limits. Uh, they cannot uh, overshoot. Uh, so this is monitored by the team with uh, natural blowing, air conditioning. So uh, we are looking for driver safety, yes. Fabrice, thank you so much. Great thank to meet you. Thank you too. I'm looking forward to the race. See you soon. <laughs> thank you. So if you want to see more behind the scenes action, make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on and comment below on what you want to see on the next episode. I'm going to head out and enjoy some of the racing. I'll see you soon, guys.